Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna go over how to hit the ATP forehand. I'll be giving you some tips on the open stance and close stance as well. My name is Ivan Pentado. Let's rock. Okay guys, going over how I'm holding the racket. I like to have my three fingers on the bottom and the top finger slightly spread out as it gives me a little bit more control as the racket is rolling over. My tension is about two or a three out of 10. And I try to have no holes on my racket. I try to make sure I'm gripping the racket nice and nice and well, but still keeping the, the wrist nice and loose. My grip is slightly further over semi-western. And uh, that's it, good to go. Just recommending, you could use a semi, you could go eastern, but the finger position always remained the same for me. Okay guys, so let's assume that I take away my legs for a second. Um, going over the, the arm motion, I like to keep. Um, I like to always start with the racket above my um, above my wrist, elbow slightly up, left hand help me helping me uh, begin this uh, this fluid motion. And again, it should always look. Almost all the pros look slightly like like this, where the racket is above the wrist, and then from there you can begin a nice uh, nice flowing motion. So it's always. Racket above, and then pull to the ball. Racket above, pull to the ball. Even if you use no lower body whatsoever, it should look like one and two. So again, it looks racket above your wrist. You want to keep this motion nice and fluid. And then from here, as you begin to lead with this part slightly, you can go this way, racket slightly closed, contact, racket rolls over and finishes. This is without really using the legs, you could do it just like this way. One, okay guys, so some of the things I like to focus on is uh, assuming that I'm doing a close stance of forehand, you add this weakness to the swing, you want to go, if you're right-handed, it should look like right leg, left leg, push, and the push comes from your knees and hips. So you have your base, one, two, push, and always legs and hips drive the swing. The arm does absolutely nothing. It's going one, two, so it's one. Once I have my, my base ready and everything, I like to make sure this knee and hip are coming down and forward. Not so much down and forward, I'm sorry, just through. I want the leg to come down, not so much the body to come down. But I want my knee to come down and my hip to drive forward, allowing my arm to come out. So it should look like take back, push, and the push gets your arm out. And then from there, it just continues to go. But what I'm really focusing on is this push right here while keeping the, the head still. That really allows the, the racket to, to fly forward. So it's one, push, push and swing. So it's one, if I go quicker, oh, I made the shot. So again, here, push, and this part. So as you're going through the swing, it's natural that the body drives forward and then slightly raises up. You don't wanna raise up too quickly. You don't wanna stay down too much. It should come up slightly as you swing. So it should be push, and then slightly raise up. So one. Okay guys, now we're gonna go over the open stance forehand. Um, when I'm doing the open stance, I'm trying to focus on my base. So I always wanna look like my weight is on the right leg. And as I load my right leg, left leg just begins to come down. And I like to have a, a little bit of space between my legs. I don't like to be too close. Sometimes in the match I do it, but it's a bad habit. But I'm trying to have some space and then from here I'm firing this knee and hip forward into the shot. So basically it should look like one, two. So it looks like one, two. Even if it, forgive if it looks a little jerky, even I'm still working on my own swing, but one, two. So you could look like this. Sometimes you can go load, push and land, which may look like you drop the ball, one, two, but above all, you're always loading this right leg 
whether you're holding your ground or whether you're going to load and push into the shot. So you see the ball coming, right leg loads. Okay guys, so I just want to say it's going to be $4,000 for these tips. You can leave the check right in the box. I'm kidding. So yeah, so those are some of my tips for the base. I'm big on the base. Close stance, right leg, left leg. Good space between your legs. Push, open stance, load in the right leg. Left knee goes down. Push and uh, rotate. Um, look in the this direction, it should look like this. Close stance will look like this. Right leg, left leg. Push, open stance will look like this. Open, push. One, two, one. Okay guys, so when it comes to the close stance forehand, uh, ideally you want to hit it when the ball's coming to your waist level. So you would just load like you're going to hit. Push from here, let the arm follow. But the open stance is a little bit different. Open stance is uh, anytime the ball comes a little faster at you, maybe a little higher, or you're on the move. Nowadays, everything is mainly open stance for the most part. Um, and you have uh, different types, like I was saying earlier, you have a push and land on the left leg, so you push and load to the right, land on the left, you have load on the right leg, hold, and just small, uh, small push from the near hip forward, so one, two, then you have the one where maybe the ball come really fast and you gotta get low, you just hold your ground, sometimes you have to move the left leg back, if the ball is coming up high and pushing you back, maybe just bring the left leg back, stay on the right leg. Sometimes you have the one where you're moving, where you go push with the right leg, hit and land. And it's like you're loading with the right, landing left, right. Um, and yeah, sometimes you have the buggy whip where you finish with the racket above, but on all of them, this right leg plays a, an important role. Your right leg, almost everything on, on the forehand. Not everything, but it plays a strong role. Even on the close stance, you're really holding your weight on this back foot slightly more, and then push it. Guys, thank you so much. Like and subscribe. Hasta la vista.